Shout it loud, hallelujah. For those of you who are believing the Lord for a massive breakthrough here tonight, just shout it loud, that's hallelujah. If you know that in this deliverance session of tonight, you shall possess all your possessions, shout it loud, that's hallelujah. Jesus is a winner, man. Jesus is a winner man. Jesus is a winner man. A winner man all the time. Jesus is a winner man. Winner man. Jesus is a winner man. Winner man. Jesus is a winner man. A winner man all the time. Winner man. Winner man. Winner man. Winner man. A winner man. Winner man. Winner man. Winner man, winner man, winner man, winner man, a winner man. Oh, I am on the winning side. 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 A winning side all the time. Winning side, 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 winning side. Jesus is a winner man. 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 I love the man of Galilee. For he has done so very much for me. Giving me all my sins and send the Holy Ghost to me. I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee. I love the man, I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee. Very much for me. By the reason of our knowledge, every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken by the reason of our knowledge. Every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken by the reason of our knowledge. Every yoke must be broken. Every yoke must be broken.
Listen very carefully. Please listen carefully. It is important you pray these few prayers before these early angels depart. There are plenty of prayers, but just a few minutes to pray them. But as many as we pray them from the heart, they certainly will have testimonies. Oh God, arise! And let my situation change. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let my situation change. In Jesus name we pray. Every root of hardship in my life. There is a sister who needs to shout this loud. In the name of Jesus, kill the root of hardship. My purpose is satanic. 
Rima Satanda Kaya Boshan Taraba. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God of promotion. Promote me by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Lion of Judah. Pursue affliction out of my life. Can you shout his love? In the name of Jesus. Pursue affliction out of my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say powers. Hired to pull me down. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Powers higher to pull me down. But Sentella Kaya Boshente Rabasan. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence. Please don't say anything for now until I ask you to talk. And when I ask you to talk, it will be to shout seven Jericho destroying amen. But before that, don't say anything. Just concentrate on Jesus. Father, I'm praying for anyone in this gathering today whose head had been exchanged whose brain has been exchanged whose head right there where they are carries the arrows of darkness makaponte likari bokasente ya boshandia ribo palika tesetila likatende keaba upon such head now let the god of elijah Pursue every stranger out of this polluted head right now. For it is written that the strangers shall fade away and shall be afraid out of their close place. Let the fire fall into the head and evacuate all the strangers 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 in the name of Jesus. What's happening now? That head is on fire. Father, I'm praying for those who are here. And at a careless moment in their lives, they cut their air away. And they are using that air to manipulate their glory. You, the glory killer in the head of that sister. Hear the word of the Lord. You are not supposed to be there. You, the glory killer on the head of that brother. You are not supposed to be there. Lose your hood. 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 In the name of Jesus. You can't hide. I've hidden for a long time. Today is the exposure and expiry day. Silence. Silence. Father, you said I should pray for those whose virtues were stolen when they were children. Father, as many people are in that category that are in the meeting of tonight, right there where they are, as I count seven from here, let your fire and power fall upon them and let them be delivered. And let their possession be returned unto them from wherever it is hidden. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Recover it, recover it, recover it right now. In the name of Jesus. I want to pray one prayer now. Let your amen be louder than that of anyone here. If you believe that it belongs to you, I decree by the decree of heaven at any power sitting on your benefit 
taking what belongs to you away in the name which is above all names and as you shout this sevenfold amen I command them to return what they have stolen in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, your word says, we shall lay our hands on the sick, and the sick shall recover. Let the power of recovery fall upon all these hands now. In the name of Jesus. Any part of infirmity that they will smite tonight, let that infirmity go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. If you have any infirmity in any part of your body, 21 times without caring whether it's spinning you or not, smite it and say, go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Let's go! Yes, they are moving out. The strangers have their friends, and they shall run out of their close places. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you are not able to do before. The noises in the stomach, the lumps in the body, the evil swelling in the body, the impotency in the hand and legs. Check it out now. And if the Lord has healed you, don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to this altar. Very quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put the problem back. You will shout this again loud and clear. Witchcraft agenda for my life. Can your voice be louder than this? You are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus name we pray that is a prayer that is going to cause a great deliverance to happen to so many here great deliverance to so many people who will pray them with fire and with power sisters who are here tonight say thou power of village witchcraft thou can I hear the sisters shouting again Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Deal with that power now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, then we will pray. God has just done a surgery in somebody's body. Check your body very well. Something there before had disappeared. 
Run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back on you. Every power Trouble my star. You are a liar. Da. Thank you, Jesus. Say this loud and clear again. Every dream sponsored by witchcraft. Can you shout it loud? Backfire in the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Father, we cover the signs and wonders you've done there with the blood of Jesus. And I decree that affliction will never rise again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, lay your hands upon your people here. Open our understanding. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Right there where you are, take any song of praises in your mouth. Sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Amen. Father, we thank you for tonight. Continue to lay your hands upon us. Mobilize heavens to help us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you as you take our Bibles and as you listen to this message carefully listen to this message carefully the mystery of the mark on the head the mystery of the mark on the head the mystery of the mark on the head there are some people here tonight the Lord said I should tell you that the problems that consumed others shall announce you. And that every satanic serpent that has swallowed your glory, as a result of the meeting here tonight, they shall vomit them in the name of Jesus. And I decree upon your life that your grave will not be determined by your enemies. In the name of Jesus. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 4. It's good to follow these scriptures carefully. Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 4. The mystery of the mark on the head. Ezekiel 9, 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the four heads of the men that sigh, that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. God ordered that they should go and mark the forehead of all those who were not happy with what was going on there. He said they should put the mark on their forehead. Then verse 5. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maid and little children, and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. He now gave a strange instruction and begin at my sanctuary. They started in the church. Start from there. Say so anyone that has that mark on their forehead, don't touch them. But anybody you look at the forehead, you can't see it. Slay them. Say so, and begin inside church. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Verse eight. And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left. 
I fell upon my face and cried and said, Ah, oh, Lord God, would thou destroy all the residue of Israel that are pouring out of the fury upon Jerusalem? While he was still praying, trying to appeal to God to stop. Verse 11. And behold, the man clothed with lining, which had the ink on by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. Ezekiel was still praying, appealing that, please, sir, stop. But the angel that had the assignment came back and said, I had finished. There is something called spiritual mark and is applied on the forehead. May your head carry the mark of God. <laughs> you don't, if, if you understand that prayer, your, your amen will be louder. <laughs> May your head carry the mark of God. You know, Galatians 6.17 says, From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. May you carry that mark in the name of Jesus. So there is something known as spiritual mark. It's normally applied on the forehead. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Revelation 13, 16. And it caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bound, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. The same Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel following them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark on his forehead or in his hand. Those who receive that mark. Verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you begin to see that there is a godly mark applied on the forehead. There is also a satanic mark applied on the forehead. I was in South Africa and they brought a girl for prayers. I noticed they were covering her face. They had to open her face for me to see her. And I said, why did you bring her here like this? Is she a Muslim? They said, no. Why did you cover her like this? I said, sir, this girl, anywhere she goes, they always try to rape her. That last week alone, she has been raped seven times. We don't know this kind of spirit. So that's why we cover her and bring her to you. The trouble is this. There is a mark on her. Is that mark that singles her out and allows the enemy to be attacking her life. Long time ago too, I was a tragic vehicle accident. A vehicle actually ran into the river. Oh, everybody perished. And it took them almost three hours to get there. Those who wanted to rescue any, anything. Everybody died. But then they now saw a baby. That baby was floating on the river. Floating on the river. Which is against all laws of science. They had to bring the baby out. The baby was the only person that was saved there. It took years to realize what happened. There was a mark of heaven on the forehead of that baby. As I'm talking to you now, the baby of those years, yet many years ago, is now a prophet of God. There was that mark upon him. That you can't kill this one. It's not possible. That's why I'm prophesying upon your life. But may you carry the mark of God. In the name of Jesus. Say, let no man trouble me. For I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let no man trouble me. For I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let no man trouble me. For I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shout it three times. (laughs) 
What is a mark? A mark is an object or a sign serving as a guide. What's a sign? It's something that is used to recognize a particular thing. A sign. A brother was coming home from work. All of a sudden, police came down at the bus stop. Arrested everybody there. Plus this brother. They locked them up. All of a sudden, they were accusing them. They were armed robbers. They had killed people. And the brother was so confident. Not an armed robber. I've not done anything wrong. Well, one day, they would discover my innocence and release me. They won. They brought an old woman who said she was robbed. So police lined those arrested up. Say, mommy, can you recognize the face of the man that robbed you from see the face? Say, yes, sir. And my mom began to go from person to person, person to person, person to person. When it got to the front of this brother, she applied brick. So it's this one. Say, ah. Mommy, have you seen me before? Say, you are the one. So they separated him from the others. And started separate punishments on something he had not done. Every mark of suffering, every mark of hardship, every mark of bad luck on anybody's head here, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I wipe them off! I wipe them off! In the name of Jesus! Lights are amen, roar like thunder. There are two kinds of marks on the forehead. There is the physical, there is the spiritual. But the most important one is the spiritual mark. God asked the Israelites to put blood on the doorpost. Although that blood can be seen physically, but it has deep spiritual implication for their salvation. The angel of destruction that was meant to pass through Egypt had no business with who was inside the house. The business is to look at the door. And once he sees the blood, it will pass. It doesn't matter whether an Egyptian came to greet an Israelite and they are inside that room. As far as the person is under that mark by the door, he's safe. That now makes me to understand the song we used to sing many, many years ago in my church in Akura in those days. It took me some growth in the spirit to understand what, what, what's the meaning of this song. They will say, Oba mi mo sa mi ye si mi lara sa mi ye Baba sa mi ye si mi lara You know it. <laughs> what they are calling Ami Iye this the mark of the living the mark of the dead too is there the devil walking about seeking whom he may devour what he looks for first when he sees a person the forehead if that mark of the Lord Jesus Christ that is in Galatians 6, 17 is not on that forehead. They will waste the person. They will waste the person. Some are praying, my father, I want to marry. My father, I want a wife. My father, I want a husband. Perhaps the prayer they should have been praying, the mark of rejection, the forehead, be wiped off, be wiped off, be wiped off, be wiped off. There are different marks like that. I pray for everyone here tonight that the blood of Jesus will be applied to your doorpost. That blood of Jesus that has been applied on your doorpost now shall scatter every enemy of the night. These spiritual marks, you may not be able to see them with your physical eyes, but evil men can see them. You can see them. I shared with you here a story of a brother who was so troubled. He thought his problem was a great problem. So he went to his friend, an unbeliever. He said, my friend, take me to a witch doctor. I want to consult. I'm tired. So the friend took him there. And when they got to the native doctor, when they entered his house, 
he excused the friend of the man to come out. Why did you bring this man? Don't bring this kind of people here. They will spoil our magic. Ah, I said, Baba, he needs help. That's why he's here. He needs help. I said, no, no, no. Don't bring this kind of people here. I will go and address him myself. And the native doctor went to the brother and said, Mr. Man, don't come here again. I can see there is a white bird inside of you. That place where they gave you the white bird has sufficient power to solve all your problems. People like you don't come here. The native doctor with his demonic eye could see that mark. But the brother could not see himself. May you not be like that brother. What are the characteristics of these marks, spiritual marks? It may be positive, it may be negative. It can be inscribed by God, it can also be inscribed by the devils or by men. These marks are invisible to the ordinary eyes. These eyes can be seen by positive or negative eyes. If these marks are not removed, it may escort a person from the cradle to the grave. There is something in deliverance we call automatic failure mechanism. That is, he says, this is how far you can go. You can't go further. And any time the person ventures to go over, hell will be let loose. See, you can only have 2,000 naira. You can't have more than that. You can only have 1 million naira. You can't have more than that. If those people don't remove the mark and they try to go over it, hell will be let loose. This mark, there may be more than one mark on a person. Some may carry seven, eight, nine, ten, seventy, hundred satanic marks on their forehead. And these marks may possess positive or negative magnet. Positive, negative magnet. I know some sisters. All the boyfriends they had when they were in the world were occultic men. It's a mark. A mark on the person. I know some people too. They are 18, 19, 20, 21. But the kind of men who will be running after them will be men of 60, 61, 62, 63. There's a mark that needs to go. This mark may also attract evil arrows. The mark will guide the arrows of the enemy to the person. In Lamentation chapter 3 verse 12, we are getting ready to pray now. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 12. Look at what it says. He has bent his bow and set me as a mark for the arrow. A mark for the arrow. This, they have put a cross there. If you fire arrow, let the arrow enter into that place. Spiritual marks are generally either on the forehead or on the hand. The head is a symbol of your destiny. The air is the symbol of your glory. The hand is the symbol of your work. That's why in our local language, they will say somebody has a bad head, a bad hand, a bad feet. This is why sometimes when prayers are hot, the person may feel very uncomfortable in the head. People with satanic marks are always hunted by satanic hunting dogs. The purpose of the prayer of tonight still continuing on the series about the head, is to wipe off the evil mark and replace them with the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rise to your feet now. All eyes closed. Rise to your feet. All eyes closed. As you rise to your feet, bow down your heads where you are and talk to the Lord. Now, Father, any sin in my life that will allow any evil mark to stay tonight, forgive me now. I don't want to go away from here with any mark of the enemy. Talk to the Lord now. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We're going into a warfare singing session. Sing it the way you've never done before. And believe God that tonight, the evil arrows must go back to the senders. Thank you, Jesus. We sing these warfare songs aggressively, with clapping of hands and with violence. Before we now go into our special press of tonight. Shut fire! Say any powers are being on my way.
your oil now and stretch that oil towards this altar destinies are about to change stories are about to change to glory father this oil in the beginning the spirit of God moved upon the waters let your spirit move upon this oil in the name of Jesus let this oil become the oil of healing the oil of deliverance oil of power the oil of strength, the oil of glory, the oil of power, the oil of the mightiness of the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As many forehead as this oil shall wipe tonight, let evil marks be wiped off. In the name of Jesus. Apply this oil on the palm of your right hand. The palm of your right hand. As I pray again. Mapita le katenda ribo sadia. Ribo kapia. La katende keyabo shampia li kasada. Father, your word says, Let no man trouble me. But I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. As many foreheads as this oil shall touch, let the mark of rejection. The mark of bad luck. The mark of wickedness. Be wiped off in the name of Jesus. Let the mark of wickedness be wiped off in the name of Jesus. Now, as if you are rubbing powder, begin to rub your forehead with this oil on your hand. Don't stop rubbing it. Don't stop rubbing it until I stop you. Continue. Continue. The mark of witchcraft be wiped off. The mark of failure will wipe you off. The mark of death will wipe you off. The mark of bad luck will wipe you off. 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 For it is written, let no man trouble me. I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Be silent before the Lord now. As a lot of reorganization, restructuring is going on by the power of the cross of Calvary. Yes. The mark of business failure wiped off. The mark of familiar spirit wiped off. The mark of water spirits, spirit husbands wiped off. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. This prayers continue next Wednesday. But when you get home tonight, apply this oil to your palm again. Rub it on your forehead. And pray the prayers we are giving to you now. It's important you take the prayers home and pray it at home. Put the oil on your palm, rub it on your head. Pray the prayers. Let us share the grace of fellowship.